some marks and patients and things like that. So, in a moment, each of the candidates are going to make a 30 second closing statement okay, about really why they, should, why, they, why they think that you should vote for them. Um, obviously, you all have in your own minds who you've agreed with most um, over the last 40 minutes. After they've made their closing statements, we will put some um, codes on the board and you get the chance to vote again. They're not the same codes, so don't try and get ahead of the game. So really please try and think about who you're going to be voting for and which one you agree with the most. Okay? So, um, 30 seconds, I think we're on to start or we should start with you first, as long as we Yeah, sure. So, so sure. Okay, 30 seconds, close the second. Sure. So I want to leave you with one last thought which is, how many of you actually know the EU, president, uh, EU Commission President's name? How many of you know the others' names? When was the last time they were on BBC or other media being scrutinised and grilled on TV, just like prime, the Prime Minister and other uh, MPs? The answer is, these people do not represent you. They don't even live in the same country. And if you think that it's wrong, the people you never voted for have enormous power over your lives, you need to vote for UKIP, we need to get out of the European Union. Yes, Liberal Democrats in power have been able to implement 70% of their manifesto. We managed to um, implement a number of our key policies and uh, we managed to be moderating influence on the Conservatives. If we're in power next time, there, there isn't going to be a majority government, I don't think. We need to have politicians who are going to be able to make the courageous decisions, both on the economy to make sure that we're prosperous, but also to make sure we have a fairer society. Liberal Democrats wouldn't cut as much as the Conservatives, but wouldn't spend as much as Labour. Thank you. And I'll achieve finally 30 seconds. Oh, sorry, Simon. Thanks. Um, well, thank you very much, everybody, for welcoming a Hitton Manor boy up to Kenton. It's been a real pleasure. Uh, even if I am a Conservative, and maybe there's some of you out there as well. Do vote Conservative because you're voting for high quality education, you're voting for jobs, you're voting for owning your own home, you're, owning for, you're voting for paying down the deficit and paying down the debt so you don't have to pay for the mistakes of the current generation. Let's work together in building a city on a hill, let's create Newcastle awesome. Only voting Conservative can make that happen. Thank you. I'm just going to definitely inspire my chief, 30 seconds. Um, well, a lot has changed since I was at Kenton School, but you know what hasn't changed? You know, we still need a government that puts working people first. We still need investment in jobs. We still need investment in skills. And we still need good public services which help you achieve your dreams. Only a Labour Party government can do that because we believe Britain succeeds when working people succeed. Okay, and so, Ms. Smith, we've got right, so we've got the new the new um, the new codes on the back. What I'd like you to do is to the same number that you can see in the top right hand side. Um, so what I'd like you to do is get your, get your phones out, we'll just give you one minute, okay, and then they're gonna make a little summary of what's happening. So one minute.
They look a little, oh, okay. So we seem to have a little bit of a swing from UKIP towards other candidates. But everything else seems a little bit, a little bit the same, so that's been interesting. Okay. Um, before, so before we go, you're going to go in about two minutes' time. Um, I think what we all need to do is, by way of a massive round of applause, find our candidates for being Those of you who we asked to ask questions, please wait in the room at the back, please, near the bar. 